when you go back to school the next day, are, are people starting to realize or does it take time before uh, people fully understand around you what's happening? Yeah, I actually, I think I was out of town on like some school trip uh, while it was all going down. And so I came back a few days later. And so it had been a few more days of like garnering up attention. And yeah, the first day back at school was pretty intense. Mm. Um, which like looking back, I'm like, I don't know w why this happened, but like <clears throat> at recess, like every kid in the school just like came up and like, mm. I guess had questions or were like so equally confused and like, <laughs> wow, you know, okay. trying to, I don't know, do something all so, being 12 year old. So at but. first it wasn't like super negative amongst your peers. They were mostly just curious what the heck was going yeah, on. I think so. That's, I think okay. so. Um, and then, I mean, honestly, like from that point, because everything got so insane in like my world and now there were all these opportunities and obligations mm -hmm. and, you know, us trying to figure out what was going on. Um, I didn't spend a lot of time at school. And so, really? yeah, I mean, I started doing like pretty poorly in my classes and I was, which like my parents being in like medicine are obviously like insane about, mm -hmm. you know, their expectations. So I just, yeah, I started doing like really poorly. So they ended up taking me out of school and putting me in a homeschool to finish the year. There were only like a couple of months of the year left and, um, yeah, I mean, I had definitely some experiences with some kids in middle school um, around the time it was like really happening that were pretty shitty, you know, really? just kids like being stupid, yeah. you know, saying little things or singing the song in like a clearly not, you know, <laughs> yeah. positive way, which like I wasn't looking for people to be like, I love your song. Like you're <laughs> amazing. Like mm -hmm. even that felt really weird to me because I was like, well, I didn't like this not this has this feels like it has nothing to do with me and right. what I wanted to mm. do, you know? Right. So, um, yeah. Yeah, it was pretty much just that. That's interesting. So you you did homeschooling for a few months just because yeah. you a few had, years actually. A few mm. years. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Was that almost to get away from all the cuz I feel like it would have been pretty hard for you to be or maybe not hard, but different mm -hmm. for you to be going through like high school and middle school and stuff normally yeah. with, in the face of all that. Yeah, it it was. I mean, because it just kind of like kept ballooning in my world. And like I got pretty isolated from some of my friends because obviously like I was in a really weird headspace and tackling a bunch of issues that mm -hmm. I had never dealt with before and my friends were also probably like, hello, like where the fuck are you and mm -hmm. what are you doing when I'm like up up here, you know, for the first time and working and um, trying to figure out what the hell is happening. Um, so it was, I, I spent my first couple years of high school doing like online school mm. and yeah, that was like probably the lowest pit of my like emotional yeah, I can oh. imagine that that would be yeah. super isolating, just not yeah. being at home, yeah. doing school there, and then, like, I don't know, do you even get to socialize at that point? Um, I found some friends through, like, Tumblr, actually, which hmm. was how I kind of got connected to YouTube when I was, like, 16. Mm -hmm. um, I would just spend so much time online, and, yeah, I, I kind of lost, like, a lot of my friends um, from before, um, lost a lot of connection with them and just kind of did my own thing. And like my parents were obviously working full time. My brother was in school. So I was alone for mm -hmm. the majority of like being 14 and 15 other than, you know, coming up and doing like at that time I was with a manager that wanted me to go record new music mm -hmm. and, you know, do all this other stupid shit, honestly. Um, and yeah, it, it was really, really a pretty intense period. 